On this day, 31st of October, Nigerians they celebrate 64 years of independence. And as a result of hunger and hardship in the country, so many Nigerians and so worry don't enter street to stage protests on top of the matter. Nigerian President Webi Tunubu don't do his speech and from his speech, uh, Oga Tunubu still they tell Nigerians say, hey, Mona still they take these uh, baby steps till our leg goes strong for ground. On the security front, I am happy to announce to you, my compatriots, that our administration is winning the war on terror and banditry. Our target is to eliminate all threats of Boko Haram, banditry, kidnapping for ransom, and the scourge of all forms of violent extremism. Within one year, our uh, government has eliminated many Boko Haram and bandit commanders faster than ever. As of the last count, over 300 Boko Haram and bandit commanders have been eliminated by our gallant troops in the northeast, northwest, and some other part of the country. We have restored peace to hundreds of communities in the north and thousands of our people have been able to return home. It is an unfinished business, I agree, which our security agencies are committed to ending as quickly as possible. Hello Nigerians, as I address you today, I am deeply aware of the struggles many of you face in these challenging times. Our administration knows that many of you struggle with rising costs and the search for meaningful employment. I want to assure you that your voices are hard. As your president, I assure you that we are committed to finding sustainable solutions to alleviate the suffering of our citizens. Once again, I plead for your patience as the reforms we are implementing show positive signs and we are beginning to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Exactly 64 years ago, our founding fathers chose democracy as a form of government. Hello Nigerians, as I address you today, I am deeply aware of the struggles many of you face in these challenging times. Our administration knows that many of you struggle with rising costs and the search for meaningful employment. I want to assure you that your voices are hard. As your president, I assure you that we are committed to finding sustainable solutions to alleviate the suffering of our citizens. Once again, I plead for your patience as the reforms we are implementing show positive signs and we are beginning to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Exactly 64 years ago, our founding fathers chose democracy as a form of government. I mean, it's undergoing the necessary reforms and retooling to serve us better and more sustainably. If we do not correct the physical misalignment that led to the current economic downturn, our country will face an uncertain future and the peril of unimaginable consequences. Thanks to the reform, our country attracted foreign direct investment worth more than $30 billion in the last year. Come on,
Feel free to like, share, and comment your mind on top every of our stories. And most important, make you hit the subscribe button today for more to read.